Okay, today we're gonna do the first stitch and it's the slip stitch. How do we prepare our garment before? We have to make sure you iron your garment before you do any sewing. Then you have to draw a hem to trace. So you measure, you draw a line at one half an inch from the top. Then you draw your straight line across, then you iron it this way, then iron it a second time this way. We do that so that you don't have any raw edges. In your raw edges, you're gonna keep on getting these little grimis that pull apart. We call that a fray. We don't want it to fray any more than what it has. So that's why you fold it over. Then you thread your needle, tie your knot. It's a single thread because it's a hem. Hems don't have a lot of wear and tear, so you only need a single thread. So I have my knot, I'm ready to go. I'm going to hide my knot underneath my hem part right here. Understand, we are sewing on the inside of our garment. You never sew on the outside of your garment. See, this is the outside, this is the inside. Hide it. Okay, I'm gonna come about a thumb's length from the actual first stitch, and I'm gonna pull. And here we go. And you're gonna go a thumb's length the whole way through, and you're gonna get both of them, both pieces, the whole way through. Now let's say you're not sure if you're going through both pieces, the hem and the material. You can always do this to check, and then you can see it is actually going through both. Or you can check by turning it over and you should see the little dark pieces on this side. That's why we use a thread that does not blend or match. If you were using, if you were sewing something to actually wear, you would use thread that blends in and matches because you don't want anyone to see your, your stitches, okay? You just keep on going through the whole entire length of the uh, hem. Now you have to do four, four hems of the slip stitch. And basically what you're gonna do is you're going to go through all four sides. You'll do this side, this side, this side, and that side. You have to do it four times. The first time you do it, you probably won't be pretty good at it. The second time, you'll get better. The third and fourth, you'll get better. Your stitches will be smaller. They won't be as high and they'll be better. So you just have to make sure that you keep on doing it. You can't expect your stitches to be perfect the first time you do it. Now, what do we do when we either run out of thread because our thread, we didn't make it long enough in the middle or if we're at the end? Well, number one, you do not just cut it off because if you just cut it off, you have actually undid everything that you've done. You always have to have a knot to tie something down. So what you do is you're gonna cinch it just like we did with the button, just a little bit different. And it'll be on this inside. And once you get good, you're gonna go fast. You'll see how fast you go. So I'm all the way at the end right here. Now, I'm gonna come just like with the button underneath my thread I'm not going to touch the material at all. When you get your little loop, you go through it again. Now you use your thumb right here to guide it down because you want it to be as close as possible to the material. See, I did that there and one is never enough. You always want to do two because just imagine if you did all this sewing and then your hem undoes because you didn't tie your knot enough. So you don't want to have to do that. So you keep on going and boom, it's there. So now I am going to cut it off right here. And we're going to check our work. You see how it looks? Now you want to check your work to see how good it is. And it's easy to tell. Number one, you do it this way. Yes, it's tied down everywhere. And there's a knot here and a knot there. Then you turn it over and you look and you see the stitches. See, they're tiny stitches all through here. 
Some of them I went big so you could see, but some of them are pretty small. This one's a big one. You don't want to go that tall. You want to go lower. The taller you go, the bigger your stitch is on the other side. And then does it lay flat? Yes, it lays flat. If your hem is not laying fat, flat, that means you did something wrong. And you for sure don't want to sew like a roll in it or something. You have to make sure it lays flat. This is the slip stitch. You have to do all four sides with the slip stitch. 